Hey guys, even here and you're watching the prejudging of Texas Pro and what the hell did we just witness? Andrew Jacked, he looks like... Wow, wow, this is ridiculous. Take a look at this guy, he wiped the floor with everybody here. He absolutely destroyed the entire lineup. And this is one of the best shows I watched, not just this year, but in the past couple of years. A lot of great guys and all of them are in great shape, like top 8, top 10 even is really good at this show. But this is the top 6 right here and Andrew pretty much destroyed everybody here. I was expecting him to be good, I thought he was gonna be battling against Steve for that first and maybe he's gonna end up in second, but seeing this <laughs> right now, it's not even funny, honestly, I mean, still looks like, 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 like an amateur standing next to him, and I don't think Steve is gonna be in second, I think Steve is gonna be, like, fourth, and in second, actually, surprisingly, it's probably gonna be Martin Fitzwater, now, it's gonna be a battle against him and Quinton, they're gonna move, uh, the judges are gonna move these guys around, they're gonna put uh, Quinton and Martin next to Andrew, so those guys are going to be battling for that second, many things can change between now and finals, but it seems like Martin deserves that second spot, so Andrew pretty much destroys everybody in every single pose, the only pose that Martin actually has everybody and Andrew is the back lat spread, you're gonna see it in a second, take a look at back double bicep of Andrew, it looks ridiculous, it kills everybody pretty much, Kamal came in super shredded, probably better shape than Tampa, but he's just too tiny compared to these giants, look at the back of Andrew, look at this, look at when he spreads it, he's super wide, but look at Martin, Martin has more density actually, more thickness, he has simply bigger back, he has more muscle in the back and this is the only pose that he beats everybody, including Andrew, but he's just too small and Kamal is much much smaller than Martin. So that's why Kamal is probably gonna be out of top 4, top 5, he looks shredded, he's peeled, he's insane, but he's just tiny, and these guys are all pretty much monsters, aside from Martin, who's also shorter, but he has crazy density, crazy fullness and roundness, look at this, absent eyes pose of Andrew Jack, looks ridiculous, look at the legs, he has insane legs, super small waist, look at the size of that waist, Co compared to his legs, it's ridiculous, and just the roundness, he has an amazing glaze, I don't know what he did, he's so shiny, he looks so good, he's conditioned enough, I watched those videos that were like 18 days out, he didn't look to be conditioned, but now he's just conditioned enough, probably more conditioned than many of these guys here, maybe not leaner, but he just has that crazy shape, you know, crazy separation, a crazy pop, crazy 3D, uh, crazy density, uh, I don't know, you name it, he has everything pretty much, and right now, we are left with two questions, first of all, who's gonna play second here, and second of all, where is Andrew gonna place at the Mr. Olympia? I was watching Trigili's live, he was commentating this show and Ian Valier was in the comments, that's right, Ian and Nick seem to be friends now, and this was Ian's comment, he says, I couldn't beat this Andrew, I don't think, nah, I can not get harder, but he's way taller and more complete structurally, and Ian was 7th in the Mr. Olympia 2 years in a row, he plans on being top 6 this year, does this put Andrew in top 6, top 7 at the Mr. Olympia? Yeah, probably even higher than that, I could see this guy potentially being in top 3 at the Mr. Olympia, that's right, I know how crazy it sounds, but it seems like the hype was not faked, it was real, Flex Wheeler knows what he's talking about, when he said this guy has the potential to win the Mr. Olympia, he was right about it. After the finals are done, tomorrow I'm gonna make another video about this show, I'm gonna do a deeper analysis of all these guys, I'm gonna tell you exactly who brought what, we're gonna see who's gonna place where, as for now, one thing is certain, Andrew wins this show, and as far as second, third, fourth or fifth, I have no idea to be honest, so they switch these guys around, as you can see now Quinton stands on the right, which means that he's probably second, and uh, he, you know, he compares well to Andrew because they are both tall, they are both very dark and also have great glaze, so they compare well, but of course Andrew is much better, but because Andrew is winning, he is leading this category, and everybody else is compared to him, and Quinton compares well to him, but honestly, I would, have, I would definitely have Martin in second, now I'm not sure about where he's gonna place, what Steve Kuklo gonna do, I think this is the best Steve Kuklo we ever saw so far, but against these guys, he fades away, really, 
after they did the second and third call out which i'm going to talk about in my next video tomorrow they went back to the first call out with the same guys but they switched them around so now andrew was on the side and no this does not mean that steve kuklo martin and kamal are winning <laughs> no they are just comparing these other guys for second third fourth or fifth as far as sixth i'm pretty sure it's going to be the guy on the left i can't remember his name i'm sorry but obviously he cracked the top six he beat a lot of good looking guys and uh, he's going to be probably sixth now as far as the other spots uh, be my guest tell me what do you think me personally i would have martin fitzwater in second in third i would probably have steve kuklo in fourth i would have quinton and in that fifth spot i would have kamal and kamal probably has the best conditioning in this show but he's just too small and all these guys all these other guys except for uh, martin maybe our mass monsters are all tall and really big and you know steve kuklo he's known for being one of the biggest guys in ibb but standing next to Andrew he gets dwarfed he gets smoked he looks so tiny and even though he brought very good conditioning his details are pretty much non-existent standing next to Andrew check it out check out the abs check out the quads it's not even funny really and then at the end they've got Andrew back in the middle of that lineup just to send a message Andrew wins now does this mean that Quinton is gonna be second or Steve not necessarily but maybe I mean maybe things will change until finals you guys tell me who do you have in second third fourth or fifth or sixth but I'm pretty sure we can all agree that Andrew not just won this show he killed this show he killed everybody here he destroyed the lineup look at this frontable bicep look at this insane ridiculous this is probably this is probably better story than Nick Walker winning that New York pro and this is an actual pro debut of Andrew Jack he kind of reminds me a little bit of blessing of audible but like 5.0 and he, they have the same coach it's George Farah so George Farah did a hell of a job with Andrew congratulations George Farah congratulations Andrew Jack I think I can say that already I think it's pretty clear it's crystal clear let's be honest he destroyed this lineup I wasn't expecting this really I was really excited to see him in this in this lineup to see how he compares to see is he actually that good and the hype was real the hype was definitely real he destroyed everybody so guys, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos, also another Texas Pro video, which I'm gonna go in a little bit more in-depth analysis about all the other competitors. Subscribe, please, guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye-bye. Oh, and yeah, I have to stay for a side tricep. Andrew side tricep, one of his best poses, if not the best. Look at this, look at this, <laughs> insane. <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye-bye.